Okay. Okay, here we go. What's up, Viking? Hey, Viking, I saw you peeped on Super's uh, live stream. I saw you. So Ed Boon confirms there's no crypt. There's a different uh, different way to unlock stuff. So that's going to be new. Uh, what else? Uh, it has been confirmed the Unreal Engine is 4. Unreal Engine 4. Could be modified 4, but it's at least a better uh, 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 engine than MK11. So that's going to be nice to see the improvement there. We're going to see a fatality here, it looks like. I wonder if he's looking for it. There it is. So that's good. What's up, Gilbert? Yeah, no, I'm playing MK1 right now. I'm just going to, I'm just looking for the fatality list here. There we go. <laughs> you can see some Kano heart rip action. Yeah. Ching. It's cool you get to choose who does the fatality. Do I want to do the fatality? I do I want my partner back here doing a fatality. That's kind of neat. It's kind of neat. I like it. I love the transition from character select. Just so cool. I am hoping they improve the font. The lettering could be a little jazzed up a bit a lot of combos what's great about mk1 is the engine is completely open for fighting mechanics and combo mechanics there's no like restrictions i mean there probably will be after a while they'll probably get heavier and heavier but at least there's potential to give like 15 16 20 hit combos if you're a, if you want to lab them so i'm very excited for the possibilities of what your cameo can do to aid in your co combos and what you can do yourself with combos. Sub-Zero, by the way, has like five air combos while you're in the air. Crazy. A lot of, uh, a lot of bounce up moves you can do to keep the combo going and bring your cameo fighter in to keep them juggled in the air while you jump back up and do some more stuff. It's going to be so fun. So refreshing, so fun. I love how every character has the entire move set open from the get go. There's no more, tr uh, variations of three different variations of which moves you want no 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 here you go here's a plate of all your moves and enjoy feed me eat eat everything eat it's gonna be fantastic yeah evil it's four hopefully it's a maybe a modified four but at least it's four so that's that's still a, a, a jump up from mk Yo, so he, he hits the first and then keeps bouncing on the different clones in the in the air. That's cool. I haven't even seen that. All right, Trev and PS5. Oh man. Yeah, I think we gotta wait to see Johnny Cage first, and then just imagine it's see see like the, what I what I was saying about the font. That this right here has to be better some people were saying that I mean that's very generic and boring and lame so i hope it's just a place placeholder and then the real version of the sub-zero wins is going to be <laughs> you know what i mean bigger i'm hoping that's the case avor's no here yeah really. here we go again avor are we gonna get hellblade this time remember a year ago we were waiting for the, the Hellblade gameplay. And we were very disappointed, weren't we? Gonna get it delivered. Nice. So yeah, the graphics look fantastic. I mean, yeah, seeing that video from the gameplay reveal, all that compressed footage is like, what? what is this? And then you see the real 4K footage. And uh, yeah, it's freaking crazy. 
This fatality is badass. Uh, anyone seen Ninja Scroll, the anime movie? Right here is a direct fatality reference from Ninja Scroll. The guy that was covered in rock got his own blade thrown right back in his head. It was a badass finishing move. So Sub-Zero, kudos to you for getting that. Kenji seems to be the most difficult character to, uh, to get to nail down because of his uh, his shadow. You can control his shadow while you're playing by holding the block button and you can move his shadow back and forth. And also potentially have your your cameo pop in so you can control two two different characters like his shadow right there. If you hold block, you can move the shadow. If the shadow is hit, he goes down in the in a ground stance like that. Well, you didn't get to use him. RKO. You can hit the cameo fighter. If you hit the cameo while he's on screen, you'll damage your opponent. And we know now that the cameos have a uh, a recharge, depending on what cameo move you use. Fatal Blows are always going to be with your cameo, so that'll be fun to see, uh, dual Fatal Blows. Oof. What's up, Dan? Yeah, Ivor, it's conf confirmed as Bihan. But they did reference Kwai Lang in, in this game. I'm really hoping the rumors are not true that, that Scorpion is Kwai Lang. I just, I can't see it. I don't want to see it. You don't give Kwai Yang Scorpion's voice. I just don't, I don't hope not. I hope not. They are brothers and Kwai Yang is Beyond's brother. And you have Scorpion. I don't understand. Why would, why would Liu Kang do that? Deny Hanzo Asashi. The announcer's voice I'm okay with. A lot of people think he sounds like a drunk, drunken old man. No, no it's, it's the, it's the OG, dark, deep announcer voice. I'm very happy he's back. <laughs> That's funny. So if he hits the first ice clone, he'll bounce in the other ice clone so he can juggle him after he's done hitting all three of them. There is an up block mechanic. You can actually block up and parry the up attack if you time it right and get a automatic punish on the ground which is really neat looking forward to trying that out you got to be careful you can't you can't commit to the the up block if they're not going to kick you if they don't kick you then you're frozen like this and you can just destroy you when you land so that's going to be cool to see love kenchi's fatality i don't know if you guys seen it it's nasty it's all this one Blech. Yeah, Sub-Zero's got a lot of moves. I prob I'd probably use Sub-Zero first. If this is the four characters we're going to get in the stress test or the beta, Sub-Zero first for me. And then Liu Kang. Liu Kang looks really fun. Round one, fight. Which is good because the uh, Collector's Edition gives you a, a, a special Liu Kang skin. Oh, he's playing real people now. Yes, the garden. Looks pretty clean. Looks real clean. Yes. There will be a Scorpion Sub Zero as a cameo always. There will be the base cameo roster. Kano. Which is nice. So I can use Liu Kang. Or Johnny Cage and have Scorpion as my guy. Oh, there's the knight! Finally, I get to see it! You see that? You switch. Look at it. Hold on. There it is. You see it in the background changes? Finally, someone pressed the R1 to change between night and day. 
So every stage is going to have that night and day transition, which I'm hoping for the uh, living forest to have an evil, dark, nighttime uh, version of the uh, living forest. So that'll be pretty sweet. As in all timelines, they are scoundrels. Nah, no date for combat cast. We don't know when the next uh, reveal is going to be. We'll find out this week. I think this weekend was strictly for uh, the Summer Games Fest gameplay stuff. Let's check out um, Ketchup and Mustard. They have they have some stuff they want to talk about. Mustard here from Los Angeles once again. We were here at Summer Game Fest for Mortal Kombat 1. We've got to say thank you so much to Warner Brothers UK for sending the two of us out here for this capture All right, session. Xbox has started. We you got 15 30, minutes. Between 30 and 40 minutes to capture. And what you're about to see is quick fire information. There's a lot of new stuff. And we're going to try and keep it as digestible as possible. But in this video, there's a lot to cover. Now, do you have to keep in mind pre-release anything could change? But like I said, we do intend on having some more detailed videos coming out but we wanted to get this one done before we flew home oh there's so, we so can, much stuff oh there is so much to talk about but we wanted to get you know just talk about the game give some thoughts go into as much detail as possible but i'm telling you there is going to be a lot of information very fast so strap yourselves in let's go First of all, the up block, a new defensive mechanic. Holding block and pressing up will activate almost like a parry. It beats jump-ins, it beats overheads, and who knows what else it beats. We didn't get to test it thoroughly. However, a successful up block will open the opponent up for a decent punish. And that's just, that's going to be quite a, uh, a common thing in this game. A lot more adding to like, you know, just defensive mechanics. Obviously jumping very prominent in MK11, for example. And instantly... Yeah, he's always pissed. You it's can like, tell by his voice too. Very aggressive We're voice. a couple of Liu Kang moves here, but the big thing we do in this moment is with a fatal blow. We want to look at how long it takes to come back. And the big thing you would have noticed there, a cinematic startup which was something that I think this mechanic definitely needed. Yeah, so Fatal Blow is back. You know, it, it comes How long does back it take? Whiffle, to... Okay. Sure, but ultimately, takes about, what, you know, seven it, seconds? It's not just going to be like a desperation move. It has that slow startup. Your cameo has to be not on screen for it to work. And right here is a quick look oh. at the movement, right? So it's dashing instead of running, but you cannot cancel dash with block in this game. You have to commit to it, but you can cancel it with a movement option or an attack. So I don't know if that's going to open some like alternative style of wave dashing, but mm. we are back to dash movement. But Committed it's to the dash unless you attack. Out of. What you're looking at right now is our first attempt at cameos and a few extra strings kind of sprinkled in there. This is a chopped up version of our first ever impression. Those bars at the bottom, the those are for so your, your enhanced moves. You start out with one bar time. every match. What you saw right there, sub -zero's back too. That is a but you do get an extra button, bar for the first hit as a reward, which is really cool. Overhead as well. This is a launching overhead that Sub-Zero has, leads to good damage, very unsafe on block, but that kind of go-to layer one combo tool. Look at some Liu Kang strings now. A lot of Liu Kang's buttons seem to be quite reminiscent of MK11, right? He's got the forward four. Nice. He's got the kind of standing nice three nice uh, kicks, launcher there. I like it. And whatnot. Um, yeah, you see it right there. Just kind of, what was that? 3-3-3 three, three, three sequence? 3-3-3. Three, three, three. And that one is 3-2. Three, 3-2 two. Three, two has an overhead ender. But with the low fireball, there is an element of an overhead low that can be added by cameo pressure. But that's something for a little bit later. We're looking at a bit more Sub-Zero. And this freeze right here... This is actually Sub-Zero's ticket to stuns mid-combo nice. without having a cameo. You have to do the ground freeze instead. Now I think, yeah, this, no, this is our first look at air combat. That's what we're calling it. You know, it was called that in MK1, or MK Armageddon, I should say, and it's back in MK1. Basically, if you put your opponent in a high enough juggle state, you get mm -hmm. access to new aerial strings in the air oh, that yeah. work exclusively for juggle combos it's yep. really interesting like we don't know how deep it's going to end up being but it's certainly brand new to the nether realm era of mk speaking of which you can see yo gamer again, welcome zeros i believe one two in the air will do that hell splat. yeah we got to see what He's xbox is bringing man that has the ability to it's their time to shine the ground so there are not universal options. Gonna main Some loop. can do Ooh. things that others can't, but it can lead to wonderful combos, which turn Sub Zero, I think, into quite an accessible character. For Sub Zero or fireballs here, Liu Kang in this game has quite a few options, and we go over them throughout. I would this video, go good for Scorpion if he can get his there. white eyes Flawless and uh, hood. Is back. However, if he doesn't get that, I'm going evil. I need to have his white eyes. Opponent, but it also 
it does not lead to as many options before. It's, and that's yeah, a it's, big change. It's basically done for individual attacks. You're not going to be doing attacks or launchers or whatever out of it. It is purely done to negate chip and meter build on the opponent. So it's back, but it's not going to be as front row. So this is the night version of this stage. Okay. Here is some use of the cameo, the combo breaker right here. You need to have a cameo available, and it takes all three, three bars. Basically, all three bars. All your resources your, your for a cash combo out break. But here's for something breaking. we were told that we yeah. did not record. You can break fatal blows. Yeah, for the first time in another realm. Oh, really? Combat, I didn't know that. Super is breakable. You know, it's not going to be that kind of free chunk of damage. It uses very much all of your resources. And oh. remember, fatal blow is not tied to the super meter anymore. So you're going to have a lot of bar, but you're going to have to spend a lot of it if you want a combo breaker to come through. That right there is one of the cameo assists that Jax can do. And while we show these, we have to mention there are two no, I don't think types back. of cameo you just had different outfits. One of them is called a summon, and the other is an ambush. The summon cameo is when your base player stands still while the cameo comes in. That is a bit more restrictive. However, the ambush version, aka Kano's knife toss or Jax's air grab, you can move while these happen. And the difference between these two is incredibly important I mean, look right that. here. Sub Zero can combo off his normally uncomboable low with an ambush. Assist. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and it just opens up so much creativity. And don't worry, we will be making a video just going over cameos in great detail. Yeah, yeah. So it's we tough. will be doing that as well. But even at first glance, right, this is literally what you're seeing after first ever time with the oh, game and we're use your, already use your cameo cameos, right there keep them in the air whoa combo. there's a nice upper <laughs> but even there like like the down two and the in the corner still leading them to be full screen like there's a lot of return so the night features, version has less people in the background right they've got the, must be closed this is disgusting by the way being able to go into a throw and having the cano ball ready to go to get damage regardless which leads us on to that throw game so a you can press cameo while throwing someone cameo character mm -hmm. and a back throw uses the base fighter that you're playing if the cameo is not available it engages a shove. i don't know now we don't know what the frame danger is by not the really way, that's a partial to sub-zero capture that sub-zero has whichever is the coolest the throw game is so heavily based on that's your right cameo Trev. that it's going to be it's, a big you're, you're oh, able to yeah, react to it now by the way it's not so, so just clone yeah, is pretty good yolo so anymore the clone is back but as we said before sub-zero is ice and you can break them too slow in this game so you're not really going to be comboing into it from standing strings however he kind of has so it's beneficial to do a fatal blow when they don't have three bars your opponent right there that's basically ex hellfire but for sub-zero and that is his standing freeze so if you use that to there's a night version of johnny cage's you stage clone, you can basically get two freezes in one combo which leads to some real juicy opportunities we're doing a, a nice few little sunset in the background here. this armor. is the wake up system the wake up system has more elements to it but however their armor exists but it can still be broken Ooh. i don't know if other moves have maybe more than one hit that remains to be seen but here's the wake up situation Armor essentially gives you MKX wake up attacks. However, if you use that a, a, a bar to wake up assist for your cameo, that can also act as a wake up. But I believe it's more like MK9 up, nope. with slight no ability. So there are two different kinds, yeah. and also one delay only. There is no multiple delay wake up in this game. Yeah. So basically, to TLDR, MK9 wake up is the yeah. I hope we get some uh, grungy dungeony nether realm stuff uh, like for the backgrounds and they don't just have armor on wake up want to see so sub off, slide ex is armored always and off world stuff wake up. and by the way sub's got a dive kick now hell now yeah can combo from, not and he can bounce him in the air it's badass that he can combo from if he's at the correct height so no doubt we're going to be seeing that a lot more and speaking of special moves the ex oh, flying kick the nice. ex flying kick for Liu kang does grant you a launch now these combos i gotta say it's actually very simple compared to what we would eventually learn what you're looking at right now is our first ever time with the game we were fortunate enough to have a little bit of extra time not Ooh. to record for obviously the sake of fairness and everything else but to sit and just play and learn and i cannot stress enough that what you're seeing here isn't even scratching the surface of what is possible even in this build no, like cameos are the game. Like, like real, true. Five minutes, guys. We'll switch over. Game, right, you pick your cameo, and it completely shapes your offense. Right, calling a cameo to make unsafe things safe. Oh, can you? For combo extension. I wasn't looking that for closely for cars. I mean, but hell yeah. So much you can do. Right, I mean, even like basic sub-zero combos like. That. Uh, oh yeah, there they are. Nice. Oh, oh. There the car lights. Like combo from that if I'm quick enough. You gotta like, have that road right along the beach, like right along the water there. I, I cannot. I see them right there. Yeah, yeah. You can see them definitely 
more in the nighttime. Cameos do at a higher level when this game fleshes out, because like the possibilities are just tremendous. Now we've got to say some of those more aware viewers might have noticed that Jack's those boats in the water back there. Both you nice to see some helicopters or something in the background. A huge part of the game, and Jax's air grab assist move with his cameo, a major, major part of combo extensions. And you're not really going to see them in this video, but eventually I was doing things like Jack just hits everyone on the, on the ground. String into Jack's air grab into a continuation. So the combo, oh, the air grab, especially nice, especially with the cameos and then the air combat on top. I'm very excited to see the creativity getting opened up by an overhead there. Sub Zero is going to get an ender into a new move, the ice push, as it were. He basically makes a clone of himself and sends. Oh, that was the air grab from Jax. He it's missed. It's almost like a noob cyborg clone, but ice. Oh, and speaking of clone, this is what we're having a look at clone. You'll notice we specifically looked for clone into throw for the freeze that you normally get in MK9 and X. Not the case in this game. No way. It Can you back not, jump clone like you did in MK3? But the clone still nullifies projectiles and obviously still freezes on touch and lets you do extra combos in the corner. So. Speaking of nullifying projectiles, this is something that we noticed instantly. Sending out a cameo fighter. I love the animations when the cameos walk off screen. Of projectile. You take a little bit of damage. But they basically Jax does a little shoulder and allow you shoulders to wipe your shoulder clean to get off yourself. So again, the cameos so awesome. they develop a lot. Jax has his grab here. Some of you He's might like, have seen oh. on Twitter, certainly not from us. <laughs> oh, by the way, overhead into Fatal Blow. <laughs> yeah. overhead. We're bringing that back. We're bringing that back from MK11. Jax's forward throw with the cameo. You can spend meter to make it do more damage. You can spend up to two bars, and at that point, it does about 20. Oh, and worth noting as well, if your cameo takes damage, you take damage. And right yeah, there's there, two like, throws. There's like, a forward throw and a back throw. A back throw is a cameo that throw. Full Kano commits to a normally unsafe string, and on hit, full combo. And you know, you see me try a few different options. Like, 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 like we said, we, we played some like off of recording, and there are so many more combos from these options. Like calling the Kano ball. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun, man. Not the same old like, stuff we've been doing with Scorpion. Letting the Kano ball go. Lots more read, stuff. When you're gonna let it go, like it really just opens up so much. It's gonna be intense. When we were playing after this, and by the way, you can get so much more than this. This is very much a proof of concept into the air fireball, of which is a new move, you know, for Liu Kang having that many projectiles. Nice, yeah. The if you get someone in the corner, rather extensive. It's crazy. Corner right stuff's there, gonna that, be nasty. Normally would work, and then the you could finish it into something funny, else. But you do kind of get used to it. Like, oh, you do for sure. It just takes time. Like, don't expect to just pick the game up and then like in five minutes you're gonna be doing super extended cameo combos because you do just need to get used to it but it feels kind of like using mk9 i like, like that throw from sub overhead hammer options, smash thing like certain things it's a bit like that i would say that's the closest comparison scorpion better or Even sub right better have white eyes too going for the jump and into that's something we missed last, last game last game can can go for his grounded launcher because he will still have time after the jacks right, by now the way, I was talking yeah. even know how many outfits each character has you know tremendously unsafe death on block you can call the Kano ball assist, which is again, it's an ambush assist, so you don't need to be locked in place. Commit to an unsafe overhead and unblock. Just let the Kano Jack's ball just go. spritting and off opens out of up there. The dynamic. Also, down two anti airs. Sub Zeros was so good. Liu Kang's wasn't so good. I think, again, it's character by character. Mm. Do not fear, though, when we were playing this, I was getting a lot of mileage out of Liu Kang's standing one anti air. Oh. Yeah, so, no anti -air the combination for, of various for Liu. buttons Ooh. and then the up block uh, could, in theory, present some strong anti airs well, but the, time remains to be seen. the actual jumps themselves are quite floaty so you will have a long time to commit to the up block 11 hit combo just like that just out simple little combo jumps, with cameo you have a lot of options there but overall a lot of this that we're seeing so far like i said it's immediately early days i think got this you gamer reflected heavily i think by a lot of the other content that talented folks on youtube have been able to put out themselves there's a lot of this learning period and you're kind of along for the ride with us uh this this immediate first impression yeah, it'd very be better if it was uh even the Sheldon monks too extra time not in justice that comes 3. down to the creativity and options that have been presented to the player you have most characters have a grounded launcher of some kind the gravity mid combo seems to be at least in this build incredibly generous so the point is day one with this kind of game i can't wait to see what people are going to come up yeah, with. but even if you're playing a character that has like low options for like juggles or stuns or whatever just pick a cameo that does and that instantly is going to make up for it like, like i really don't know what it's going to lead to to making a character good or not in this game but that's going to be it for today's video we wanted to be quick fire information 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 
But on that note, stay tuned. We're going to do a lot more in-depth breakdowns when we return to the United Kingdom, where proper editing can begin. One final thank you so much to Warner Brothers. Nice. You and now for the one more thing you've all been waiting for. Prepare for the most comprehensive oh, Starfield. we've ever done. I was like, for the Gears fans, I got built. your back. So Welcome and enjoy to the world Starfield premiere Direct. of Gears 6. Enjoy. <laughs> oh, oh, I just woke up. Did they say Gears? Oh, no, never mind. All right, Starfield time, I guess. <laughs> 